What's up Football Daily and welcome back to Unfiltered. And today I'm joined by the man, the myth, much like myself, the model, Ruben Loftus Cheek. How are you doing, man? I'm good, How's thank things? you. Good? Yeah, I'm not too yeah. bad, thank you. Not too shabby. Now, this is all thanks to Call of Duty Vanguard, which has just been released. If you guys want to get it, get in the description below. Are you a, a big COD player? Yeah, I um, played it a lot in lockdown. Okay. I think everyone did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but not How'd you much. rate yourself? How'd you rate yourself? On a scale of one to ten, six. Okay. No, 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 six and a half. Six and a half. Okay, and not half. quite seven. Yeah, not but every, quite seven. Every team needs a six and a half, right? There's a couple of the, the star boys <laughs> that are going out there, and then you know when they get downed, when they you're out there to revive but them. But like in in my team, the guys I'm playing with, I'm the star. <laughs> oh, okay. How we're many bad. wins have you got? This? No, we're bad. How many wins have you got this this over the course so far? Two, three. Oh, you're not even double figures yet. Two, three, yeah. Moves. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, a little bit about Vanguard though. You, I've seen, heard you've played it. How did you find yeah, it? Yeah, very. Oh, it's very good. The graphics is inc incredible. Like, we lost. But we'll move on. <laughs> we'll but, move on. We'll yeah. move on. But you enjoying the game, enjoying, right? Does it yeah. bring back a lot of kind of like memories of when you were a kid, De like playing with your mates? Definitely. The multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. Kind of setup there, like. Brings it back, brings it back. Okay, well, that's amazing. As I said, if you guys want to get Call of Duty Vanguard, get in the description below. But in this series of Unfiltered, we basically look through players' social media. So I'll tell you what, for me, when I looked through it and I saw you had over 500 posts, I was laughing. It was brilliant <laughs> because some players don't post as much, man. Yeah, yeah. But you've got some uh, some gold oh, ones some now. Ones, on this it? first photo here, yeah. um, we need to before anything talk about the hair. Uh, Neymar esque. Now this is obviously you signing yeah. your, your kind of first contract yeah, at Chelsea. Yeah. Um, looking back at the hair, how how's how's it feel looking back at it? Nah, I'm just like, what am I doing, like? Come on, man. Is it Neymar inspired? Yeah. Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I see it is. that. It is because. At the time, um, me and my like, friends, we loved watching Neymar. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, when you're that young, you get bored of these the haircuts. We was like, what should we do? Let's like, let's relax it. We relaxed it ourselves. Like with, oh, that, with the some chemicals. Sachet, sachet packet, that like, thing. Okay. <laughs> It's rough, bro. I've, yeah. I've done it once before when I was like 14. Yeah. After this, I'll show you what it looked like. <laughs> weren't good. It no, weren't man. good. And then, um, yeah. And then we, uh, I got um, one of my mum's friends was a hairdresser. I dyed it like little, little, little patches. And then, but it was, it was long. I had to like straighten it every morning. Yeah. How long did you keep it for? Never. Not too long. Okay. Could only be a couple months or something. Okay, fair yeah. enough. I mean, obviously, long. there, when you're at the academy, you've just signed your kind of first big deal. Yeah. Um, it wasn't, especially at that time, it was not like it is now, the academy, where you've got a few boys coming through. Yeah. How do you look at it if you look back on like, what kind of words would you, like, advice you'd have given yourself back then? Um, just to kind of like, obviously, the road is it's always up and down, isn't it? So just persevere, isn't it? Just mm. stay, stay focused and. Don't get too low on the lows. Yeah. Don't get too high on the highs, and and just keep working. Um, because obviously, from this point onwards, I've had a lot of downs. Yeah. With injuries, such and such. So, yeah, definitely that. Okay. Well, in the next photo, it's you and uh, Andreas Christensen. I know you guys have kind of yeah. come up together very much. So you both yeah. had kind of loans out where, elsewhere, but you've also come back and yeah. are now both in that first team. Yeah. Um, talk to me a little bit about him because it must be nice having that guy also going through the same experience with you yeah. um, and again kind of the same kind of thing like you, you're looking back on it together it must be yeah. it must be quite nice yeah no I, rem I remember quite clearly um, when Andreas came in he was around 15 15 years old um, and I was the I was the one kind of I got asked to show him about and take him on your wing yeah show him his locker and he was really shy like he could he still speak is. yeah he still is but imagine that like, yeah, yeah as a 15 year old as a 15 yeah he was really shy, could speak English well, but just didn't want to speak. Just bossed it on the pitch and went inside. <laughs> that was so, cool. like, did you ever find that weird? Like the first time you saw him come out and play, obviously he was a bit shy and then he's yeah. out there and he's just one of the best players on the pitch, yeah. dominating it I from just, the back. I remember he's in, just incredible with the ball at his feet, stepping in, his passing and, and, and reading the game is what people mm. don't see as well. He's like incredible at reading the game. 
Um, so I've been good, good friends with him ever since him. And, That's amazing. Yeah. Well, on the next one's actually a video of, um, I think this is you when Mourinho had his first stint at Chelsea, 2004, yeah. and you're in the academy yeah. in the background. We'll, we'll like, point it out um, on the, in the video. Yeah. Now, obviously, you went on to be managed by him. Yeah. Uh, he's actually now at Rome. He's actually got Tammy as well. Like, yeah. How is he as a coach? Like, he's such an icon of the game, yeah. especially over the last 20 years. Yeah, no, obviously, he, he brought me into the first team set up when I was 17, 18. Um, so I'm forever grateful for that. And yeah. I got my first minutes under him and kind of had first experience of what it's like being a first team player um, under him, who's one of the one of the best managers, won so much uh, with, with Chelsea, obviously, and, and with other, other clubs. So uh, to see this now, it's like, it's crazy, it's, it's crazy, man. Does it feel like a whole lifetime ago? Yeah. Because so like, much has happened since, right? Like I don't, like, I don't remember this. Oh really? Myself, like I have to, yeah. I don't remember. Oh, wow. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't actually imagine remember no, meeting Mourinho remember, when you. Because nah. how old are you? Like eight or something. Yeah, I was seven, eight years old. Oh my lord. Was he maybe um, one of the most? Would you say he's the most influential coach you've had, or has it been someone else? It might have been someone else. Um, most influential. Because you were still very young when, even in the second stage, yeah. you were still very young. I was still very young. Um, most influential. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Sorry, I'd, I'd say. You got a lot of minutes under Sari. Got a lot you? of minutes under Sari, and I felt like he understood me as a player, uh, okay. as a person as well. So, yeah, I say sorry. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, okay. In the next picture, uh, I'm going to dig you out because I've only picked one photo okay, here. Okay. However, if you go back on Ruben's Instagram, <laughs> I, I kid you not, there's at least 50, maybe 100 no selfies. No way. There's uh, not that maybe, one. Maybe not 100. <laughs> But uh, I think it's safe to say you enjoy a selfie. You know what? Why have you stopped? Because you're definitely not back, doing it anymore. No, no. Back in the day, back in the day, I was on the selfie thing. But now, now there's not much. In More it. professional now. Yeah. I'm not too. You too. You know. Now you're modelling for, for for a bunch <laughs> of brands. You know. You can't be doing selfies anymore, man. Nah, uh, nah. Yeah, I just remember. That's when. Um, the phones started getting techy yes. and all that. Snapchats like, Snapchat out, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Yeah. Okay, um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll move on to the next one. Yeah, we'll move yeah. on to the next one. Because um, in this picture, there are three guys that have kind of been quite huge for you, right? Antonio Conte, John Terry, and Eden Hazard. Um, Mr. JT, club, you know, as Chelsea as they come, the yeah, guy, the club yeah. captain, legend leader. Um, I know that you and JT got on well. There's even a video of him when he did Soccer Aid. He's taking the mick out of you being really stiff <laughs> and all that. Um, what's, yeah. What was it like? How, how important was he for you? Um, JT was very important. Um, he was that kind of bridge, making it comfortable mm. that from the from the academy to the first team. Like he, anything you didn't know about or wanted to ask questions, anything you needed, he was the he was the guy. And like, really? yeah, he, well, he, he always looked after you. But obviously in training, he's just like anyone else. He elite. He, he'd make sure your standards are up as well, and if you're not, he'll he'll tell you. So he's like a proper proper captain, probably lead them. And I guess I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised at all. Um, Eden Hazard, one of Chelsea's yeah. best ever players. Yeah. Did he ever kind of like teach you a certain skill, or like teach you anything like that you've taken into your own game now? Uh, um, when you when you think about it, I think um, he it was obviously unbelievable, kind of watching him firsthand, like in his, in his prime, just. The way he played was so effortless and, and was it inspirational? Like for you, must be seeing that, and especially you guys like you can also play left wing as well, yeah. and that's kind of that attacking midfield role was where he yeah. kind of dominated. Yeah, um, and seeing him out there week in week out killing it. Yeah, that kind of like make you drive on. Oh yeah, of course. I I I remember like when he first came, and he, uh, maybe he was twenty one or yeah, something, yeah, something like up. that, and I remember watching in the stands and sitting sitting quite close to the bench and and he like taking players on down the wing and the crowd going going nuts and it's just like oh, i want to feel i want to feel like that so and now you yeah. are man like yeah, yeah. i think one, there are times where i think a lot of chelsea players or fans will say one of their favorite things is seeing you take yeah. the ball in midfield and drive past people yeah. like i must be mad to kind of look back on and feel, yeah, no, feel that way i've done that ever since i was young and to do it in front of forty thousand fans at stanford bridge and the fans start cheering when you run them past. It's just what, it's what dreams are made of, isn't it? So, Indeed. Yeah. Um, and then Conte, uh, yeah. one of the best managers in the world, I think it's safe to say. Yeah. Um, in, you've also, I think you, he kind of won the league and you were not necessarily playing a lot, but you'd also featured during it. Yeah. Uh, he's now joined Spurs. Yeah. What did you think of him? And like, how do you think a lot of Spurs players maybe kind of, what are they in for, essentially? 
No, he's yeah, obviously a very, very good manager, very passionate, mm. um, demands standards in training. Um, he's very kind of repetitive. He likes it. He has his 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 methods and sticks to it, and and that kind of, that works for him. Uh, obviously, as you can see from what he's won and yes. stuff like that. Um, and with with Conte, he he was. He was the manager at the time where I kind of felt like I was maturing a lot. And the, se the season after that, I was just like, I want to go to play. And that's when I went to yes. Palace. But with Conte in that season, I felt like in training and, and talking to him, I really matured okay. and got to the point where I wanted to, to, to go and play. So Amazing. Yeah. Um, now, I, we'll, we'll actually skip the next image and go to your injury. Okay. Um, because I think this was a, a, a big moment for you in your career. Here. Yeah. Like you just had a, a fantastic time at Palace. You'd been in England. You yeah. then come back under Sarri. You've been playing yeah. brilliantly. Um, how was that? Because it can't be easy. It can't be easy yeah. physically, but also mentally. How how did you find it? Yeah, it was ve yeah, very difficult. Um, yeah, like you say, the, the form I was on, I was enjoying my football. Um, to be fair, that that season I had a lot of injuries with my back. Yes. A lot of missed games with my back, so it's, it wasn't a season where I was just firing non-stop. Um, but it was a season where I was enjoying my football and I was Particularly playing well. Particularly in the Europa League as well. Yeah, yeah, I got a lot of my minutes in the Europa League. Started to start a lot of the Prem games at the end of the season, mm. back after the season. So to and scoring double figures in a season, and then to get this injury at the end and miss the Europa League final, just killed me, man. And and obviously the the recovery was very long. So it's a difficult time, but I'm glad to be to be past it. And, well, you know indeed. I mean? I mean, if we go to the, uh, uh, the not the next image, image after that, mm -hmm. it's very much you killing it now under Thomas Tuchel in this this season. Yeah. You must. Is there a bit of relief for you to kind of after all that? Because I always imagine as well after an injury like yeah. that. Yeah. How is it? Do you did you ever worry about that first big tackle? And you know, is yeah. it going to be bad again? Yeah. And, but also, when it was okay, mm. that must have given you loads of confidence. Yeah. No. Definitely. When you're when you're coming back, what you're what you're trying to do in the rehab and in the recovery is just basically do everything you can so your your mind's clear on the pitch. But it doesn't. It's very hard to not play and then go and play and be completely confident mm. in your body. I'm, I remember the first couple of games, I was still still wary about challenges, getting stuck in, stepping back. On the, on, the, on the Achilles, stuff like that. It just comes with confidence over time um, and strength in the yeah. gym. And that was something I worked on really hard uh, for. So now that I'm able to play, play like completely free, uh, mentally it's, it's amazing. Yeah. And you are killing it. And I guess we'll go on to our, our final question, which is uh, the final photo as well here. Mm. You and Thomas Tuchel, Talk to me about Tommy Tuchel because right now <laughs> Chelsea are top of the Premier League. Yeah. You know you're loving it. Chelsea fans are loving it. Every single player under him seems to be enjoying it. Yeah. What is he like? And and also what did he tell you? Because I also read as well that during the academy you went from centre back to midfield and also ended yeah. up at striker. Like, yeah. do you think that's been, helped you in your kind of role now where you're playing a, as a six but also pushing forward? Yeah, yeah. All the positions that I've played have, have helped me on the pitch. Where, wherever you are, you can see it from a different angle. Mm. You can know what you want from different positions. Uh, so I have to say, yeah, I've, playing in those positions have, have made me the player I am today. And this was a new position with me, kind of. As when I was young, I started from you know in the sixth position really, and then centre back, and then I moved up, and then a number ten striker, left wing, right wing. With, with Palace and stuff, so yeah, I have developed from it, but this, this position is different, more holding sometimes, yes. um, but I enjoy it. Anywhere in the midfield is, is where I prefer. Uh, it's, it's my favourite position to play, and I think I'm most effective in midfield, so to, to play, play in that position for Chelsea under, under Thomas Ducal is I can't complain at all. <laughs> Amazing. Well, I think that's all the, the time we've got. I'm being told, yeah. get out. We've got to move. But, mate, thank you so <laughs> thank much. You, I man. really appreciate that. Thank you very Thanks much. Thank you so much. If you guys have enjoyed it and want to see more content, then click on screen right now. If you want to subscribe to Football Daily, hit the red button, like the video. You know what to do. We'll see you later.